Hey, how you guys doing? My name is Joseph Charles Collin, the new face of art. Now, basically, or paint, canvas with my face. Um, So, let's just do this. Number 86, I believe. Um, perfect. Yeah, I got just a little bit of that. Good enough. Simple. Three seconds that took. An hour and three seconds. Remember, this is my art too. Like it's not just this. This this is my my face is is my painting too. Remember that you you're not just getting this piece of canvas. You're getting this too. Each one of my war paint should speak to you. Um, Uh, just a second. Oh, okay. Um, I got a blanket over my legs. It's Canada. It's cold right now. It's really actually cold outside. It's about 20 below right now. Uh, about, I don't know what it is in degrees, maybe 11 degrees where you are. If you're in Fahrenheit height, this looks really good. Now, it depends how good it looks when the stamp part comes into play. One dollar per minute forever. The one dollar per second thing, I, you know, people have just kind of forgot about it for now. Um, I know it's in the earlier videos and people are going like, you said one dollar a second. And I said, well... People weren't taking it seriously. One dollar a minute is still kind of out there and for the pricing and stuff like that. But you know what? Gotta hope this works good because this is a really nice one. If you look, if you're looking at this up close up like I am, it's like really nice. You just kind of want it to turn. I have, I have a good feeling about this one. I have a good feeling. Uh, oh yeah, it didn't go like this this time. But you know what? It's straight. It's straight. It's a little faded in the bottom corner there on this side, but you know what? This is a rare one that is the triangle in the middle straight. And I've had people say, you know what? People that are spending a lot of money will want those ones that are straight. Uh, every one is very expensive. That's all there's to it. Um, you know what, guys? I get all. This is going to be titled, this is for, um, should I do critic on this one or just hold off the critic for another weekend? This one's collector. I'm going to go tight uh, for critic number seven or six. I can't remember where we're at uh, next week, but this is a really nice one. That's going to be titled collector because this is to where this is geared towards collectors this particular video uh, this is number 86 canvas 86 and upload 142 so canvas 86 and upload 142 
collector. But they had somebody come up to me just a little while ago here and, and say, you know what, what makes you think a multi-millionaire and a billionaire would, even if people took my stuff seriously, which people are actually starting to, uh, they'd be scared of me just wasting their money if if they bought a painting off me for say two million dollars that I would just waste their hard earned money and I explain why that's not not so pretty soon here you the collector who are watching this right now you the collector have something very unique here this is a painting done with the indigenous north american treaty status indians face this is a painting done with a new medium on canvas was ben i theatrical face paint which nobody's ever done every piece of art in the world in any wall anywhere i don't think nobody has even thought of putting theatrical face paint on this so and all of my paintings have that and it's the first art in the world to go up a dollar a minute forever until a group of billionaires or one billion, I'm not sure, buys my art and then they all go to a dollar per second. But that's a very extreme case in the future and we'll have to figure that out. But the fact is this is a dollar a minute. It goes up $1,440 every single day, every 24 hours forever. As a collector, as a gallery, as anybody out there in art, no art in the world does that except the Joseph Charles Collin. No art in the world, and any wall anywhere in the world goes up a dollar, I mean a dollar a minute. Nowhere in the world. Now, what you as a collector, what you're getting is is not a big monster painting like something in the back here, like this. This ain't a painting, no, it's just, but I'm just saying, you're getting a 10 by 10. It's a 10 by 10 of a warrior, a financial warrior, a Wall Street financial warrior fighting for your financial future. If you're a multi-millionaire, a billionaire in the world, you won't care about that. But you, what you will care, what have, what have people have told me, what am I going to do with your hard-earned money if you buy one of my paintings in the future? First of all, from a very young age, I made a decision not to drink. I made a decision not to do drugs. I made a decision... 40 years ago, not to smoke, drink, do drugs. I don't gamble. I don't, I don't have no vice except I drink a lot of Pepsi. Even lost teeth because I drink a lot of Pepsi and a big chunk of money, if money's coming in the future, is to fix my teeth. Uh, it doesn't look, you don't see my teeth up close that for a reason, okay? Now, I'm in the same job for 20 years. 20 years I'm in the same job. As of you're watching this video, I'm still in that job. Same company, I do the same thing. It would be a dream just to be able to do what I want in life and to have the money to... I'm 50 years old. Just to do what I want to do in life. Now, as a collector, as somebody that has a lot of money in the future, you buying my piece of art. Just say with the amount of paintings I have now, if people bought them at the dollar per minute rate, we're talking 80 million to 100 million dollars. 
Now, over time, I realized money is no big deal to multi multi millionaires because as long as their money that they buy something with is spent, how can I explain it? I don't, I'm not the kind of guy. To just waste your money. I'm not going to sit there and take a hundred thousand. Just leave it on the sidewalk. For somebody lucky enough to get. I'm not that kind of guy. My The money I get. Oh, thought long and hard. What happens if everybody starts buying my paintings. At the dollar per minute. Which is. is 40,000 a painting every single month. Forever basically. What would I do with that kind of money. I'd have a better life. I'd buy myself a lake lot. I'd buy myself a really, really nice house. Nothing very big and fancy. Not a mansion or anything like that. I honestly don't know what I would do with that amount of money if people bought all my paintings. And it's quite possible that could happen because there is people, and I know some of you watching this video right now, um, you, you're watching closely to see what happens. Now, as a collector in your collection of art that you have, wherever you happen to be in the world, if you're watching this video right now, if you're a gallery, um, the competition out there is fierce. I see people with beautiful, beautiful paintings that took forever to make them. And, and they say to me, what makes you so special to have that kind of money with a painting this small, the, uh, 10 by 10, and where their painting is worth $3,000, where they think it's worth... And they think my painting is worthless kind of thing. First of all, you're getting all my paintings look like this. You're getting my paintings. You know what? In the art world, everybody just, oh, that art's got to be good. That art has got to be. But you're competing with hundreds of thousands of people just on YouTube alone, the amount of people, it just boggles your mind when you, if you just search art channels, just the amount of people just to just have art channels. So what sets me apart from every single person? This sets me apart. Every single art in the world that hangs in a wall is not done like my painting. Every single art in the world is sold by a gallery saying that this is worth this and oh, yours on your wall is worth that kind of thing. Or, or an artist setting his price or he or she setting a price by inches on the canvas. Mine ain't like that mine is priced by time 100 percent by time this painting as of right now is 14 minutes old the the price is set at 14 dollars as of right now and as this minute is going by it's 14 dollars at 15 minutes it is a repriced and somebody actually explained this to me. This is how the art world, if they're going to take all this seriously, is they're going to say this is possible. Because if I put a price at any, say this is $1,000 and there was no time price or whatever, and I said this is $1,000, whoever buys it on a couple of years, they could sell it for 1100 and so on. So anytime I choose to put this at $1,000 in the real world, how can I explain this? Every minute this price goes up, I reset the price. 
I am telling you right now, this is, now it is $15. If you're watching this in the future, remember it's from the upload date. It's not $15 as of now. This is $15 as I'm camming this in real time as of right now before I even have it up on YouTube. This painting is repriced at $15. And in 30 seconds, it's going to be repriced at $16. A minute after that, $17. A minute after that, do you understand? What's the difference of me putting this at 1000 and saying, okay, uh, next year I'm going to put it at 2000 Next year, there's no difference. I just happen to be the one person in the world that say says in time, this is more money. As a collector, my art from any single place in the world, all you have to look at is the timestamp of this painting on this channel. And you see the upload date and you times it 1440 times the day forever. 24 hours, 1,440. One minute after 24 hours, 1,441. And so on. Forever. To the end of time. What artist in the world has the balls to do that? This guy in war paint right now talking to you trying to convince the world and all the people that laugh at me all the people say oh this is nothing this this doesn't even look like nothing it's not the uh, what it looks like to you it's it's who buys it in the future and I and I don't care who you are in the art world I don't care if you do your own art or whatever if you're an artist your art is not like mine. My art is a dollar a minute forever. I have the balls to do that. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm the only one allowed to do that because I'm the first person to do that. Anybody after me tries to do that, well, good luck because nobody's going to take it seriously. If you try to steal the idea of a dollar a minute, I'll make it known in every... I'll contact every single news organization in the world and say yes I have for two years been saying that my art is a dollar a minute forever and I am the true person time stamped on this YouTube channel as a collector on your wall any one of your walls right now unless you have one of my pieces of art you do not have a piece of art that goes up a dollar a minute this is the in the art world, this is the goose. The goose that laid the golden egg and it lays a golden egg every single day forever. The price goes up forever. You look at a Rothko and a multi, multi millions of dollars and look how simple his art looks. But when you really study it and everything, and the guy is a genius. Mine is that simple, but mine is done with a random... Like, I have no control. I have no brush. I have nothing. And I'm telling you right now, this is unique in the art world. This is new in the art world. This cannot be, cannot be duplicated in the art world. And I am sick and tired of people... Oh, you must be some kind of con man. Oh, well, no, I'm not. I just came up with this idea of putting a price. I don't want my art, like, the person back here with his art as thousands and thousands of dollars. Okay, fine. If everybody want to buy his art, buy his art. I don't care. But his art is not going up a dollar, or her art is not going up a dollar a minute. There's only one, a Joseph Charles Collin. Well, one of 101, I'm at 86. 
and then I'll do it in my next series, which is just as extraordinary. Which is gold. It's going to be about this big, painted gold. One side of my face or my chin, and then each will be at the gold cost per ounce per day forever. So, say this is my gold painting and it's a dollar or $1,200 per ounce. Then it goes up $1,200 every 24 hours forever. That's how my goal. But my next series, I'm letting you know that now. That's my next 101 paintings. They're going to be the gold series. So you're going to have gold bars. Super gold bars. That goes up $1,200 an ounce forever. Next week it might be $1,300 an ounce forever. But collectors in the world, there's a chance. There's a limited, I might not even do the gold bars. I might just stop doing these paintings at 101 and not do any paintings ever ago. Uh, ever again. God, it's, I'm tired, guess. I do these paintings at, late at night after I do my other thing. I can't convince people enough. Uh, people that own my paintings where their paintings and is right here and they're looking at and they, they go, I understand. I, I believe, I believe in what you're trying to say. I believe it because I, I have physical physical that I have physically have the painting I physically own the painting in my hand and they understand you watching this if you don't have a painting you won't understand until this is in your hand and then you realize that this painting is unique this painting is fast no brush no palette knife no nothing 100% different than every other piece of art there in the world. Everything in the art has been done before except this. And you can't, if you're sitting on this other side of this camera watching this video, you can't tell me that this, you've seen this before. Because you haven't. And this is, this one is beautiful. I have all the paintings here. I have like 50 of them. I've given away to friends and family and people with, by circumstance. Maybe about 30 to 40. I have a good 50. And I put different ones on my wall. And I just, and I pretend like, imagine if these were in galleries or wherever in the world. And I look at some of them, you know, because I did them all. And... And, and I have some, I have a group of four here, a group of four there, a couple over there. And I look at those, you know, when I get up to go to work and stuff like that. And I always look at them before I go and I said, you know what, this is so unique. I've looked at so many art channels. I've commented in so many art channels. I've looked at so many galleries and stuff like that. And there's nothing like this in the world. So you sitting there as a gallery, as a collector. This is a, the goose that laid the golden egg. That's what this is. This will be in time. 100% the price. People will know when it remember you're watching a video that a lot of people in the world and art world doesn't don't even know I exist you've stumbled onto this the 16,000 people that you see as is as subscribers on this channel are not people from the art world they're from uh, movies I used to have movies up in this channel war movies and 99% of those people don't give a flying crap about art. The people that stayed on this channel don't even watch this channel because it's... Because when all the movies went off, 
YouTube doesn't uh, send them a notification that here's this guy with, you know, it, it, or else you'd be seeing thousands of people on here. Uh, the people that, you people that are watching this right now, no art. You people that are watching this right now, maybe give a crap about art. Or maybe some of you just know me and are wondering what crazy Chuck, you know, he might just pull this off. It's not a pull this off. This is not a get rich quick scheme. Because it is not a get rich quick scheme. If I have to convince multi, think about it. I have to convince you, the collector, and multi-millionaires in the world that they're getting something unique and I think the average collector when they actually look and I think I really think in time of according to people out there and there's people trying to get their hands on these there's people trying to get their hands on my art for nothing because they think that if this because you look it doesn't matter, Mr. Collector. Any time in, in the future, any time in the world, you do not have to worry about the price of your piece of art. You do not have to ever worry about your, your art ever being devalued. You didn't ever have to worry about a Joseph Charles calling this art that goes up a dollar a minute. You don't have to worry about money with my art because the money is built into it per minute forever. You have it for two years, it's a million dollars. You have it for four years, it's two million dollars. You do not have to worry. What you have to worry is the rest of the art world and the rest of the world out there saying, Wow, did you see that Joseph Trust Collin? It kind of reminds me of Banksy, that shred. I even I don't even know art, but I saw him on the news. Mr. Collector, that's what you have to worry about. That day, when that day comes, when everybody in the world says, yeah, that's Joseph Trust Collin. That is the only piece of art. Those 10 by 10 paintings that go up a dollar a minute forever. Every single video I try to drill it into people. Any video you see on this channel, it's a dollar a minute. I, the older ones are dollar per second because I wanted something super expensive. I mean, like the reason why, I'm, the reason behind the dollar per second, uh, it, it would would make these thirty one million a year is because I want them to be untouchable to every single person except multi billionaires. But I think the multi billionaires are going to write their own rules on these in the future. Because there's only going to be a hundred and one, and that's it. And that's going to be it. One hundred and one. Mr. Collector, gallery, critic, everybody out there in the world. In the art world, you could put in value only on, on canvas. Any, type, any extraordinary value you could put on canvas. There's not an object on this plant you can do that with unless you build like a $200 million house and put a value, but that's something you live in. This is something you put in that $200 million house or maybe 10 of them to pay that house off. Because in the world, multi, multi-millionaires and billionaires, they have everything. But they don't have a Joseph Charles call in the dollar minute painting they could pay off. Maybe they don't even care about the money. But I'll let you know right now. I'll cherish every single penny that you bought my painting with. Doesn't matter if it's $100 to hundred million dollars 
Money to me is a tool. This tool to make your life a little bit better. I'm not that kind of person just to squander money. I'm not that kind of person just give it away or anything like that if you're worried about that. And and being a native, people think, oh, he's just going to take that money. You must be like a, a drugs or... No. What you get with this painting is an artist that is 100% clean. I do not smoke, don't drink, don't gamble, don't, none of that. And the day my paintings sell to the day I die, I will not smoke, drink, do drugs, gamble. I'll buy my pop. That's about it. But the money I have in the future from my paintings, you will be proud of me was with your hard-earned money your painting will have worth to it because your artist your artist won't be stupid with the money your artist will live good but that's about it and and I will be a model model artist with your money it's simple this is brand new in the art world. It's never been done. The price is brand new in the world. Never been done. The way this painting is done. Brand new in the world. You might be watching. You might be watching this video. And be just fascinated by this crazy guy with war paint. But what happens if in a couple of years from now, it's 2019, 2020, 21, 22, if people start buying these like crazy and they end up in galleries, then you could be watching this video and saying to yourself, I remember watching when that guy put that. And that's the beauty of this is you're watching this video and you watched it being made live. You're watching this live, this piece of art. This is not $10, this is not $100, this is hundreds of thousands of dollars, this piece of art on canvas. Right now it's only $33, so, and, and it's $33 for another 40 seconds. I have people that are dreaming big with my art. It's not just about me. There's people that hold my art that are having financial problems. There's people that are struggling in their life. And and you the collector, you the gallery, you don't have to you probably don't have those problems. Me I drive an old car. I drive a 1997 Nissan Maxima. I have a okay computer. It's about 10 or 10 years old. It's a it's a quad core very old computer. I have a TV that's not that great. I have, you know, nothing. I don't have any type of money that justifies, like people say, oh man, Chuck, oh, I see the, those people own those paintings. Oh, you must be like a millionaire. No, because you, the collector, has, hasn't come out to buy, hasn't believed in it yet. There's people all over the world send me messages and stuff like that and saying listen we're very interested in this but until you have a real show or you have in one I'm trying to get done for New York City I am determined to get in New York City to do a show but some of you galleries in New York City are 
probably watching this right now and you're scared because you're scared of your reputation being hurt but i hope this one video convinces you that that this is not just some guy trying to be rich off painting this is a guy that has something unique in the world in the art world just like the banks he shredded painting it's unique in the art world you saw it live on the news being done like you saw this painting live being done each one of my paintings is basically a Banksy shred because it's done live and you're witnessing right now it might not have multi millions of views on it because nobody knows who I am I do a lot of these videos too with this length and this kind of rambling and that because I watch it time to time through the week just to remind myself that this dream is 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 almost impossible and I'm taking a lot of flack in the world a lot of flack what I'm trying to do a lot of flack for this a lot of uh, emotional turmoil as a as an artist because people laugh at me say all oh, this you'll never sell 10 by 10 for multi-millions Chuck because it's, those people will see right through you and I go I'm a working man I'm not a con artist I've given you the collector a product a product in the art world that goes up forever and I sadly think I could only do 101 of these because I don't know if I could take the pain and suffering that it's, it's causing me until the first multi-millionaire somebody out there in the world says Chuck I believe in you I believe in this Chuck I believe in this taking a toll guys that's all I can say it's taking a toll because there's so many very very talented artists the the art the canvases when I go buy them at the art store they have a little gallery and that's little gallery the kind of they have a little showing there every like month every week last week to in and you see the artwork there where my god some of that is just worth probably worth thousands of dollars and to compare my art to them i could almost say stupid what i'm giving you is something unique something sets you apart from all that art you go into somebody's lawyer's office doctor's office and I have I work in a job where I go into some of these some of these offices and accountants office for the company I work for and stuff like that and you see the art in the wall and you see that they spent a lot of money on some of that art and then he, to me as an artist to come up and say well my art is a 10 by 10 and it's worth hundreds of thousands of dollars more than that is almost like uh, 
almost makes me feel bad that but I want to give you the collector because who cares what the critics say who cares what everybody else in the world says I want to give you the collector something unique for your collection to say yes that is a Joseph Charles Collin that has a medium that no other piece of art in the world has on it as this particular time this coloring no art in the world has that this is not oil paint this is not acrylic this is not pastel this is not charcoal this is theatrical face paint what's the ingredients oh i don't have it what's the ingredients i don't know it could be similar to but it has to obviously it has to be on the face so it has to be safe so i'm telling you this is a new medium the ink stamp in the middle that is my signature that's kind of my signature instead of the signature here that's my signature that's a mountain that you can't climb your dreams to get to the top of the mountain that is my dream i'm down here trapped here's my dream this circle the circle's your dream the object is to get to the top and have a good life and be happy giving you something that nobody else in the world is can't do and to have one more person to say to me just laugh in my face just because they don't believe they don't know art they don't know the art world Sometimes I feel like just deleting everything off this damn channel. I've taken every bloody painting, just put it in, uh, straight into the nearest pay to have every one of my paintings taken to the dump. Make sure nobody has access to it. Make sure they're gone forever. And then when people say, oh, yeah, Chuck, what, what, where's your paintings? Where's your paintings? Yeah, they're gone. Every single one's gone. Well, people own my paintings now, so that's kind of impossible. But I, I feel like that because it's up to you, the collector. It's up to you. I'm at 86, I have 14, 14, 15 paintings to go. It's up to you. Wow, I just, it's just amazing what I went through for this, like, it's it's been almost two years of July, as of July coming up this is a painting every Saturday for two years sorry this is a painting every Saturday I've given up my Saturdays for two years for you to produce this to put the war paint on to make something unique you're not just getting the painting you're getting this war paint this this image this image is is what goes and I don't know how many times people have oh I really like that war paint kind of speaks to me and then they see the painting and they go you know what I like the other painting better the other one that I was looking at so it's not just a war paint you have to choose the painting it's, it, Every single one of you watching this video that own a painting. As far as I'm concerned, every single one of you past a year of your painting, uh, two years of your painting, three years, you're, you're a multimillionaire. You just have to wait. You just have to wait for the art world 
itself to say this cannot be ignored one lady from one gallery said to me he says listen don't worry any guy with war paint slap it on canvas with his face and charging a dollar a minute is going to be known and it's just a matter of time who is Joseph Charles Cohn? You know, how many minutes? 45 minutes. I'm not trying to push this to an hour. It's, you know, I, sometimes I have to watch this video a couple times. The longer ones to say, show to myself that Chuck this is why you're doing it you're giving the world or the art world something new you see some of those shows and you see some of the stuff just being somebody else just does something a little bit by somebody else that other person says oh well is that this artist Oh, no, that's my art. Oh, well, is your art kind of looks like that. Well, yeah, that art was kind of like his art. And now my art's kind of taken from that art. And But this is my own spin on it. And now this is my art. This is my art. It's simple. It's three seconds. Majority of them are three seconds, but they're going to be timeless in the world. The people you understand, if you're watching this, you understand. You have a physical piece of art in front of you. And just remember that every art in the world Every single person that's watching this video that owns my art, every single person in this in this world that is watching this video, doesn't matter how many views it gets in the future. The whole entire art world is here. Joseph Charles Collin is here. That's all set prices. My price is go up forever it's never set for more than a minute my art every single piece of art in this channel is controlled by time and any time in the future you're watching this video you, you could just go okay this was done or oh, this piece of art is seven years ago and you know exactly how what the price is it's three point five million dollars people say to me uh, if you are here this long just listen people say to me all the time like they're thinking in terms oh Chuck that should be three hundred dollars for or five hundred even make it like a a dollar a day so in one year it's three hundred dollars don't make it affordable for everybody I don't care about that. I want my stuff famous. I want the provenance of built in. The people who have money who buy my art is what's going to make this famous. If that star or that banker or that hedge fund guy or that multi-million dollar cor corporation buys my painting because of the price, it, the provenance is built in. That's what's going to push my paintings to the future. 10 years from now, how much is this? Uh, uh, this is on the wall somewhere. Uh, Mr. Gallery owner, how much is that, that one? Is that like, oh, that one is, uh, uh, just, just a second. Uh, actually, just go on your phone. This is exactly what's going to happen. Just go on your phone and look up Joseph Charles Collin. and look up under 86. Oh, see, I even forgot Look up number 86 or upload 142. Okay, that's 20 years ago. That's $10 million. 
how could that price be ten million dollars? Well, because t twenty years ago, he put that up, and now they're sold all over the world. That painting is twenty million dollars. I know it is. Nobody can dispute it. A government coming in saying, uh, they literally could probably say, okay, you know, your net worth is twenty million dollars because those those are sold all over the world for what it is by the minute. There's no painting in the world like that right now, anywhere. You can't go, if I priced the Mona Lisa, say 400 years, that's $200 million. Imagine if Da Vinci was smart enough back then to put his paintings at a dollar a minute. Imagine if he did that. Imagine if Da Vinci, just bear with me. Let's push this to 60 minutes. Imagine if Da Vinci back then said all my art is a dollar a minute forever to the end of time how would the art world be now i guarantee every piece of art in the world would be priced by the by time be it a dollar a day dollar an hour i bet you that's how it would be imagine i could have i could have started something here if these start selling in multi-million other people will say well mine's a dollar a day mine's affordable oh well, mine's a dollar every 24 hours you know what i mean mine is a dollar every six hours imagine if da vinci could have changed art if he came up with that so maybe in 2019 in this day and age and in, in this art maybe i'm gonna change the art world maybe when my art starts selling for millions of dollars a dollar a minute people will say you know what i'm not gonna sit back and take that i want my art at a dollar a minute i want my art at a dollar a day i want my art at ten dollars a day You could be looking at a guy talking in front of you right now that just changed the art world forever. View modern art. You're watching it right now. It's social media. Joseph Charles Collin view modern art this painting's a dollar a minute forever canvas 86 upload 142 and i hope someday i'll pay a visit to this particular painting because it's like a child to me i just birthed this painting with my face that just sounds weird it really does and let's don't forget let's just don't forget these ones too dollar or one cent a second forever thirty six dollars an hour these ones, that's what these ones are. I don't have too many of these ones left. I've given a lot of those away. Sold some here and there. Like next to nothing. Um, Could, I could just imagine sitting beside a Picasso, beside a delicious guy, dwarfed by their art. They were thinking big. The Picasso, the Matisse, the, all the big art from 3,000 years ago to now. The marble sculptors. 
the cave paintings all around the world. All they had to do was paint up their face, smear it on canvas, charge a dollar a minute forever. That's all they had to do. Da Vinci. Hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Why didn't you think of this? Why didn't any artist in the world think of this? Maybe. Is this video done yet? No. Because it's 56 minutes. This is $56. Okay. I want $60 as of couple more minutes okay at least put some value on this half a million in one year why not it's only money but you got a unique painting that's nobody else has in the world only maybe a hundred other people will if you if you have this on your wall if you're looking at this painting your painting on the wall. I'm going to take a long look at this painting because it'll be buried in the back with the rest. It'll be on my wall here for a bit. And just a silver. This is history. This is history. This is history. I just trust Kong has created something that nobody in art world has done or seen. Nobody's ever thought to paint with their face. As far as I know. Could have happened somewhere. I don't know. I know there's body painting. I know people painted. Rolled on canvas with the body. But. Maybe they got their face on there. But. It's not war paint. This is war paint. From indigenous. Treaty status. North American. Native. Real treaty status. I'm a card carrying treaty status North American native so you're not just get you're getting a native but I don't want classify my stuff as native art it's it's the new face of it I could stir that all day I could stare at, at that all day because that's just absolutely beautiful. That one. They're all beautiful. They're all my babies and they're going to be gone one day. I'm enjoying them now. One more minute, guys. Hang in there. Hang in there. One minute. In the last minute. $59. Unfortunately, I'm not selling any at that price. They're at 40000 If you want to buy painting, it's $40,000. Only for the ones uh, within this month. Last month, they're 40000 plus already. They're, they're 30 days times 1,448. It's kind of over 40000 I believe. I can't do the mathematics in my head. 30 seconds, guys. My name is Joseph Charles Cullen have one painting and a dream and my holidays coming up someday here soon in New York City hopefully I'll take over the world of art that's my plan at a dollar a minute forever